Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And we're doing more challenge quest stuff. It's time for the ultra high difficulty. Who will be the treasure to go to? Let's see what this one has to actually do. So you have a... It's an assassin. So I'll look at it here, but first we'll look at the strategy hint. Taking down the treasure will mean that you will gain the treasure and you will be able to gain its buff effect. Keep in mind, though... You can also take down the treasure the enemy servant is after. Breaking the enemy gauge will enable them to take down all the treasures so you can take them away your treasure. Huh. Okay. So it's well, basically there was more to that, but you didn't scroll down. Was there more to that? Yeah. It's too late. Oh, well, wait, no, the hints is right there. Is it? Oh, okay. I see it. You may gain powerful buffs through rare treasures, but they will only be effective against certain card attacks. Okay. Sure. All right, so we'll look at Assassin. My draft, my draft pick is an Assassin. There she is. All right, bring it in. Jack the Ripper. Powerful. Okay, so we will take down all this. Just because they were two females, and I figured, why not? That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's see. Assassin, right? Yeah. Um, Let me see. Do we want to start with supporting Jack at the beginning? I don't know. Let's see, so the two dudes that are up there are writers? Um, Avenger and a writer. Is it Avenger and a writer? Not yeah, because too... it's uh, Ishtar Space. Oh, it's Space Ishtar, okay. So what is effective against Space Guys again? Space Guys? You mean yeah, Avengers? Foreigners. Oh no, Avengers, no. Uh, it's Moon Cancers. Let's see. Unfortunately, if I had my Janako just a little bit more buffed, she could have been used as a pretty nice support here. She would have. She would have, but unfortunately, she's not. She's not there yet. Okay, so we'll go here. I think I'll just use it to support what we got so far. So I'll go ruler. Scotty. Yeah. Though she isn't actually the best to go with her <laughs> to start. Um, let's see. Which one would I want here? Is defense up still pretty good? Hmm. These aren't male, so no, I don't know. <laughs> no. Because the all allies defense when you are defeated. Hmm. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. Maybe what about damage cut? Crit star stuff. Oh, crit star. That would probably be alright. Crit star gain. Or maybe crit star gain each turn, and I can just give them... What's its nuts? 20... A 30. 20, 30? Yeah. Okay. So what about you? What are you thinking? What am I thinking? I'm thinking about a second DPS. Okay. So, Assassin? Uh, I don't know. It could be Assassin or a Moon Cancer. We could still yeah, use BB, cancer. technically. Yeah, we still have our unit that can be used with a 200 percenter. I would say BB here, just because Space Ishtar sounds a little scary. Not that BB. Are you sure? Because it sounds like with the treasure stuff. With her AoE, wouldn't she be able to get all the treasure? We don't know if those guys are Riders and or Avengers. Yeah, but she has um, Moon Cancer. Yeah. So that means that if she was effective against... Also, she'll have 200% attack up. Okay. I That's... was just mostly saying because the other BB is usually gar garnered around being a brick house. I mean, that's true, but I'm just saying that they could potentially steal the treasure. Yeah. I'm using this as an idea of like, okay, you could be used for treasure. And then also you can think of it as in terms of a lockdown. We can lock down Jack's moves... Since she only has like what one a single a singular buster. Does it not let you check here? Oh, yeah, it so it's right here. So if we get a good enough where it's a her arts and her her arts and her buster with her NP up, then we can get her to mighty chain and actually take effect of Scotty stuff. Mm. I think it'll work out. I think it'll work. Yeah. All right. Now we'll go for the other units. Um, let me see. Maybe another support just in case something bad happens to them. Well, we don't want to do Ruler, just because... No, we already have one with Scotty, so... Um, Castor would also be very bad, which is also where Castor is. Um, Who is a 10 as a supporter? <laughs> she's also a Castor. Who is a 10? The one I want to use, correct. Summer. Oh, no, I was thinking about Assassin. I don't have Assassin super well built up, I think. Yeah. I can check. Not compared to to I don't have little Wu as built up as you the don't big have one. her. No, you don't have her skills up. It's not really gonna matter. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. An assassin here. I can look at them. Mm. A supporter. 
Not many supporting assassins. Oh, you know what? Mm. Queen Skaya for BB. Oh, yeah. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah. And then we can give her a... Um, MP Man, not MP Game, Critical Star. Not that. More? Do I have another 2030? No, oh, you know what would be probably be good? The one that drops a whole bunch of them when I. The Golden catches the carp? Yeah. Because we're switching into her. Yeah. Alright, who are you thinking next? We're already pretty high up there, but. Hmm. Do we just go with the basics, Koo and Mash? I think, yeah, Mash here would be good. Well, I gotta pick them. Here we go. And then we can give her... Some form of... Maybe the Taunt Up would be actually very nice. Just so she can take whatever hits when she comes up. Mm -hmm. Is it under Defense? The taunt? Yeah, target focus. That's what they call it. They don't call it taunt. Target focus three turns, increases attack. That's sure. NP game. This works. And then for the last one, maybe a good assassin little one. A mini assassin, you think? Kojiro. Are we, think are we thinking Regend? I'm thinking Regend is going to kick it up. He's 4-4-4. Four, 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 that's all he needs. And then in terms of his old phantasm, just to be able to slap him in the face, Kaleidoscope. Okay, we All can right. afford it, so... <laughs> we, we can't afford it. And we'll try and go for the other one, because I think actually probably NP up would be pretty nice for this one. We don't need to be stunning. It sounds like there would be too many enemies as is. All right, we'll go with here. And as I said before, in case you did not know, this is our one-shot try at it. I broke that rule with Lee, but that's because Lee made me angry. <laughs> well, now we can't anymore. No more. That was the one I got. If, if they sweep us just on principle that we didn't read it correct, oh well. Yeah, we lose. That's just the way it goes. We have one shot, one chance. I should have said that at the beginning, but I was so focused in on team building I forgot. That's okay. Fatal Battle, here they are. Here we are, dogs. All this, right. And looks like they are random types. They are. Okay. Defeat as Treasure and Mistress C. So if we get all of these, at the hmm. end of turn, death is inflicted from as Treasure Hunter. We could technically give BB the NP stuff from Scotty, and we can wipe them all out. We could. We could very much do that. Which I think would probably be a good idea to go for a start here. Go here. God uh, damn, it's only Scotty. Though. <laughs> huh? Another bad starter. <laughs> uh, it is pretty bad. I can also give this here just because I'm afraid of getting completely destroyed. That's fair. Um, we, are the, we don't need to use matter. this right now. So we can save it. Go here. We have it. <sighs> I guess go here just for a mighty chain of some kind, but I don't fully understand or know. Did they call it mighty? Like. I called it Mighty or Brave Chain. I keep forgetting. Welcome to the Horror Show. Horror Here Show! Here comes my scary face. CCC yeah. translated. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just realized all these buffs will be going to BB. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. The big one went to her, the other stuff went to her. Probably should have went after Mr. C. I agree. I forgot, though. Devil Sugar. A attack up, charm up. No. Alright, but not so bad so far. Okay, get more here. They have infinite amount of treasure, so we shouldn't focus too much on the treasure. You're probably right. What did that say? Preoccupied with treasured. More resistance to all attacks and increase. So this is a demerit. What she had? Oh, I get it, because I we have so many applied at the moment. So I guess I can infinite lock in here. Yeah. Go here. So we'll go here, here, here. Or do we want to go for Mr. Mr. C first? I feel like she'll be the easiest one to kill, but at the same time... I feel like we already invested too much into Ishtar by now. Because of BB having all the buffs. 
All right, we'll go here then. Go here, and then she should be able to get her noble phantasm, and then we'll use it on Mistress C next turn. Femme Fatal. Ouch. Thanks a lot. She stole her treasure. Oh. I was gonna say she doesn't have a treasure. Oh, she must have stole her buff. No, okay. she's t she's killing the treasures on the field. She's invincible, by the way. Is she right now? Mr. C, yeah. Well, well, and our shit is sealed as well. That's very annoying. Okay, well. You're attacking the... You're, you're attacking I'm t I have to attack the treasure. Okay. There's no... What, what point is there to attack them at the moment? Okay. I would have spaced that a bit. <laughs> but then the at the end here, she'll be able to come in and do a little bit of damage. There goes all the Jack's buffs. She's probably dead now. No, she'll live. And also, that invincibility is probably attacks, not what turns. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. So I could remove some of her buffs on here. She still has Ignores the sure hit and reduces attack to three. Okay, so there's no point in attacking her with the Noble Phantasm then. Yeah, that's what Go I was saying. Here. It's probably not going to disappear until you hit her. And then what does she have right now? Game okay, resistance. Darts up. Is this up right now? The preoccupied with treasure? Yes. Because she has two. No, she only has one. But it's still the one. The more treasure are applied, the more resistance to all taxes is decreased. Once the treasure is gone, though, she doesn't have it. Right. So you're just going to have to attack her. Go there. Let's, Let's see how see. much this does on a neutral female. It should deal a decent amount of damage. The hops. <laughs> Big hop. Did okay. She lost out on the Scotty buff, so. She sure did. Oh. Go there. Oh. That's another treasure. Uh, the treasure loss. It's another treasure. Yep, and they get all that. Okay. And that's a super rare treasure. And I feel like switching out. Well, it looks like we're about to get AoE. <laughs> that is correct. That's currently what's happening, and we're also about to lose this one. It decreases damage, MP generation rate, and steer rates for Earths and Buster Herds. So probably whoever gets hit this will probably be able to live through it, maybe? Maybe. I feel like the right answer here was to always have AoE and always be stealing the treasure, but I feel like it's too late to be doing that now. So I'm going to try and save Jack for later. Well, we don't really have a looping thing with a buster and a quick, though. We don't have any of that. That is correct. But... We would have had to go to arts. Uh, quick could have done it. But we I don't have the specific dudes that would have been able to make it actually happen. <laughs> oh, Rikyu. There. Yeah, I don't have Rikyu. Or, uh... I have Summer Ibuki. That's about the best I got. Yeah, no, Bushi doesn't have her buff yet. Alright, go there, there. Make sure I'm hitting the right person. Yes. Okay. You're hitting me. I'm, I'm just going to assume that hitting the super rare treasure is going to be enough to save me from Space Ishtar's thing. Big but if not, beam. then it's over. Probably. Because uh, we're not going to be able to survive anything. Over gauge, too. Maybe we should have won out Mr. C and we could have also broken her bar. That's probably right. But I went for her because... Well, no, you went for the Berserker, so it goes back to her. Oh, yeah. Turner's all mine. But now she took all the buffs. No, she didn't. I still... Uh, BB has all the buffs still. Well, she stole the other guys' buffs. <laughs> she did steal their buffs. Here comes the big bean. And... 
over, Ted. Yeah, it's basically over. Regin, get in there. <laughs> get in there and get the attacks in. Get the get the attack we want most. The cool one. Uh, okay, so she has like what two left? Okay. So what? Uh, may as well give this to herself. Then go here, here. The swallow reversal. That's right. Get rid of those shields down. And now she's super shields down. She's gonna take this swallow reversal. Ouch. Boom. Both down to a single break bar. And now she does her noble phantasm and kills us. Now they can't say we did full sweep. And when she... She took everything. Yeah. So, she yeah, took the, the kids. She took the kids. She, she took, took the dogs. She took the dogs. This is a formality at this point, but uh, the, everyone is dead. But the funny thing is that they all have to focus on MASH at the moment. That sucks. That sucks for MASH. No, well, she's bulky enough to take it. Let's see, go there, there, there. Hit him with the big MASH attack. Because she has invincibility again, so I have to take this stupid thing down again. Here and... comes an AoE car. Yes. Oh. Jack lives. Everyone else is dead. And then they kill the treasure. To take the treasure. And it's our turn. One final noble phantasm directly into Mr. C's big dumb face. We don't have any of that. Just full arts. Full arts. Full quick. Full quick. Full quick. May as well. Sorry, I got confused. It's understandable. It's confusing time. We didn't even get our buff. We did not get our buff. We have buff blockers on. <laughs> Still did a lot. Just because it's a rider. And it's also 100%. Yeah, hopefully by the end of this video I will have 200%. Oh. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> there she goes. Uh, let's see. What was the fuck was... Okay. 0% death rate, of course. When treasures are defeated, the servant who defeated it receives a buff. The buff is given to the servant who is defeated, whether the player defeats it or the enemy defeats it. Almost the same system as Sweets of the Universe. So when treasures are defeated, the servant who defeated the buff is given to the servant. Whether it's Okay, I get it. 5% chance to reduce some damage resistance by 0 equals a stack of it. At every turn, uh, inflict targets, whatever. If they target a treasure to take. At the start, 500% chance to increase on damage resistance by 80%. It just looked like we had to have two DPS taking out treasure. It's not, or one constantly shooting off AoEs until they died. Yeah. That was like the only way we would have been able to do it. And going the double DPS route wasn't the way. No. I realized it after when I said, wait a minute. They're probably going to fill this shit up with treasure as much as they can, but I didn't realize it until after it was done. So, that's a failure on that one. That's the first try there. Maybe I will later, with Summer Ibuki going... I actually would be kind of curious to see if Summer Ibuki would just completely destroy this. Well, yeah, but we don't have that much time. We don't. So, I will save that home for my own personal reasons, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Say goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Peace.